Okay, we'll wait for people to come in real quick. I figured I would do like a live stream on <coughs> Saturday night. And I'm actually, I'm using the camera on the Pixel 3a to stream this. And it looks really fuzzy. I don't know, tell me what you guys say. Yo, what's up, man? What's going on? Camera looks really fuzzy for very, for like very, very low light live stream on the Pixel 3a. And if like I go like completely into the dark. Yeah, I know, right? I look blurry as hell. Let me see if I if I go further and further into the light, and then it should start clearing up. That's like a street light right here. So it's good, man. Yeah, it's better. I know. Um, I was just figuring what it would look like in the dark, cause like in the back of my apartment it's like really dark. So I figured I would try and stream it <laughs> where it this. Yeah, you go get it, boy. Um, yeah. So, what's good with everyone on Saturday? What are you guys up to? I'm seeing, like, people are, like, left and right getting their Pixel 3As or 3As XLs in. So, I just kind of wanted to pop in. It's an interesting day so far. I'm doing good. You just watched the Warriors game? Nice. No, I'm doing good, Oscar. I'm doing good. I just... 98 subscribers away from 10,000. I was, like, checking my stats just to kind of see how things is going, like, progression. And so that's actually pretty cool. Like, I'm, like, inching my way to 10,000. I don't know what I'm going to do when I reach 10,000 subscribers. For sure, for sure, a giveaway. Oh, you forgot about the game? Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, I hope it's good content because I wouldn't want you guys to be bored. I'll walk around the side of my apartment to the front. My sons are out here skateboarding and riding bikes. Magical Mermaid, what's going on? So how you guys been? What's, what, what's been good with you guys? Alter Tech, you've actually, honestly, your content's like 100 times better than mine, bro. I'm speaking truth here. I'm not trying to butter up or kiss ass or anything like that. You just caught the pixel fever? Oh, yeah. Uh, Magic, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing well. Um, I hear my son. You can hear his skateboard. You are the Pixel 3A? I think you're gonna like it. I think you'll like the Pixel 3a. It's not, um, I don't know, I kind of get annoyed with some videos, like, you know, people just really kind of looking at it to be like some sort of flagship phone, and it's not. My battery life is, actually, my battery life is fairly decent. I think, I can honestly say, like, if, if I could restructure the Pixel 3a, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask for a different processor chip. I would definitely stick with the Snapdragon 670. You gotta go for it. My son's learning the 50-50 grind. My son's picking up. I used to skate back in the day when I was younger. And the other day, I played a game of skate with my son and I lost to him and I was so shocked. Just everything that I can do on a skateboard is completely gone. Like, I'm so out of shape and everything. You know, I'm almost 40 years old, so... Like, it's like when your heart wants you to do something, but your body can't do it no more. It's really depressing. But yeah, the, the Snapdragon 670 is more than capable. And I honestly, I feel like that, you know, I get better battery performance out of it. It does very well. It sips on the battery when it's in standby. But then when you use the device, it's more than capable of handling what you throw at it. So I have no complaints there. It's just what happened to Max Lee's phone got me really worried because I like when I got the Pixel 3a I was in that mindset where it was just like okay you know it's a plastic build not glass so all I gotta do is just worry about the front display I don't gotta worry about anything else and then he dropped his phone from like a foot and the screen cracked I was like oh crap how uh, I will hold on to my Moto E5 plus 
Okay, yeah, you know, my biggest thing is, is that I don't, I don't recommend people chase down every phone that comes out. If you have a phone that you like, that you like, you absolutely are in love with, like it does everything that you want it to, there's no reason to switch from that. Yeah, the Moto E5 Plus is an awesome phone. You know, Moto E5 Plus is, is actually pretty good. Um, the, the Moto G series, the G6 series was okay. Uh, in my book, it was okay. The Moto G7, I don't know what they did with that phone. <laughs> you know, it was surprising. I mean, I have the phone. I like using it. But, um, yeah, just no NFC. I mean, when I try to use tap to pay I, I use that more frequently than anything. I don't like carrying my debit card with me, and it's like, it sucks. Gorilla Glass 3? On what? On the E5 Plus? <laughs> but, yeah, the, the Pixel 3a, the Dragon Trail? No. So... Uh, Rishi, if you when you get your 3A XL, I definitely recommend you throw a screen protector on it ASAP and a case, uh, and not and not the Google case, not that not the uh, cotton case or fabric case, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, I would definitely go with something that has at least at least like a freaking like a half inch uh, lip. Yeah, yeah, definitely, dude. Because what happened to Max was, like, really sad. And it was so fucked up that people went on, on, you know, onto him about it. Like, he was being biased and all kinds of stuff. Like, no, he was just telling you guys what it was. Probably won't get a new phone until 2021. That's cool. Yeah. I get phones that I'm interested in and that more, more than likely I'm going to rock for a while. And, like, when I got the Pixel 3, that was my main intentions of getting it. It wasn't to be, like, I got a flagship phone or anything like that. It was just more of, like... Hey, you know, I like talking about Android and the best way that I can actually give from a full user experience of what the next version of Android is like is if I have a phone that updates to it. So I got a phone that updates to it, you know, three years or maybe four. Yeah, Motorola does do great. I think the reason why I like, I, I like Motorola on the side is just the fact that it's like pretty much stock Android. I mean, they throw a little spin on it, like on my Moto G7. It doesn't really have like like the real gestures that Android, uh, well, Android Q has. But the one button navigation on the Moto G7 at the bottom, where it's just like a like a line, like you swipe your finger, like you swipe left on it, it goes back. You swipe right, you know, it goes, it, it switches in between apps. You kind of swipe up at an angle. It's like recent apps. That's just pretty cool. Let's see if I can. Dragon Trail sounds like you know, a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it pretty it does. Um, Dragon Trail has just been like, I mean, what was it? Uh, Max kind of pointed out that Gorilla Glass has like 450, I guess it, it can withstand like 450 uh, pounds, uh, pounds of pressure, where the Dragon Trail was like 150. And obviously, but then again, like people got to remember that these phones, they're manufactured and they're not all exactly the same. So maybe just he just ended up getting that one phone out of the batch of phones that they made that the glass maybe was just so flimsy. Maybe maybe the, the Dragon Trail glass itself was defective and it dropped and cracked, you know. Um, I don't know. YouTube's just been getting into this weird state of mind. Um, and I guess that's kind of the reason why like I kind of laxed a little bit. Instead, I would do Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays videos, but I try to keep up with that schedule and just kind of shift it over to my podcast and just recording audio episodes as much as I can um, and, and done that. Three gigs of RAM is nice. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, I don't know. People have mixed feelings about RAM, so I don't really get it, you get too much into that because like, there's like people that are like, it's got to have 12 gigabytes of RAM. It's got to have 12 gigabytes of RAM or 10 or you know, 8 gigabytes of RAM or 6 or whatever. And random access memory is to be used. I don't know. I think people just love seeing that additional gigabyte free. Um, and yeah, like Android is a little bit, it, it's, it's, not, it's not like Windows or anything like that. So um, to me, it's, it's based on several things. It's based on... on on uh, how, how good the processor is at managing things. Not just how powerful the processor is, but how good, as, how good it is at managing tasks, processes that's thrown at it. You have RAM, four gigs of RAM. I mean, everyone was shitting on the Pixel 3 for four gigs of RAM. They're like, it should have had six. Um, to me, four gigs is handling just fine. 
it, it, it handles just fine. The Pixel 3, which I'm working on that video to do a comparison, and um, I'm trying to stay clear of everybody else's video on that, is um, to kind of, you know, to give you guys like how it's been for me using the Pixel 3 and the 3A. Hey, what's up, Ben? How's it going? Um, just how it's been for me, use, you know, being that I used the Pixel 3 and then I'm using the 3A. And there's really not any difference at all whatsoever. I mean, this is not that big of a difference. Um, even if you were to sit there and just focus on processor only, Snapdragon 845 versus 670, there's really not. I mean, okay, there are some, some slight differences. Some slight differences, um, but those are things that's like to the naked eye, no one's really gonna really, really notice about it. Um, you would like you would have to be like focused on what you're looking for to find a flaw in order to see those differences and I think that half the time most uh, Most of like the bigger reviewers is what they do like they're, they're searching out for these differences and to you know Find differences to be able to make a video and say hey This is what's different and this is why the 3a lacks the 3a doesn't lack in anything as a matter of fact If you want a pixel and you don't want to spend a buttload of money the A's are the options um, people throw it around pixel 3a affordable well okay it's, it is affordable um, I don't know I don't know where things are going today I honestly feel like the 3a I mean it's it's cool to put it up against like you know these these newer flagships to see how well it can hang with them but if you're putting it up against these newer flagships because you want these newer flagships to kill it ie the one plus seven pro then um, it's a pointless video Nice to go out after dark here. That's cooler. Yeah. Well, you know, crazy enough as it is. Moji 7 Power is, is a good budget phone. Yes, it is. 3A might kill Motorola sales by a ton. Might. Um, interesting thing, actually. So I'm a big nerd when it comes to, like, the weather forecast and things like that. And so I know that, that this year um, we are affected by El Nino. So the water is, the water temperature in the ocean is a bit warmer. However, it didn't affect us as I thought it would. And this year, we've actually remained cooler than normal. So like this, you know, yesterday and today was like probably the two hottest days that we've had this year so far. Um, the weather has gone up to like 80s and it has dropped back into the 70s with some clouds, with some rains. So it's just been weird. Normally, we are like, we're warmed up by the end of March and we start to get hot in uh, April. And April all the way until October were really warm, um, with the summers being excruciatingly hot. This year it's not like that, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of like scared. But then again, I'm just kind of soaking it all in. Like, you know what? You can't, you can't always sit there and worry forever. So just soak it all in. I think about get Spectrum Internet and get the wireless AT&T and Sprint. Doesn't work well here in El Paso. Yeah, um, I don't know. Someone messaged me and they're like, it's officially done. Um, T-Mobile bought Sprint. And I'm like, okay. I haven't seen anything that has actually said that the deal, the merger, has been passed and has moved forward into actually, you know, merging the companies. So I don't know. If you guys heard anything, let me know. But I haven't heard anything yet. I don't know why that person actually said that. Yeah, it may be, it may be cooler for us for now. But it is going to warm back up because we actually do need the jet stream. Because the jet stream is far, is far south. It hasn't made its way up here. But we do need that jet stream in order for us to have what they call a monsoon season here. Where we have more rain. Did something smart putting 632 and all their... Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and you know what? The uh, 632 is actually pretty capable. On my, on my G7, it works just fine. Weather is weird all over. Yes, it is. Like, I've seen, I think there's still places that's still getting snow and, like, snowstorms. So, <laughs> this time of the year in May, that's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, the Moto G7 is actually pretty good. Um, I did a mini review because I didn't know if anyone would be interested in me actually doing, like, a full-blown review. Um, if you guys want me to do a full-blown review, I'll get to work on it. Um, I'll bring as much info as I can, so it'll probably be, like, a 20-minute to a half-hour video. But if you guys want that, uh, I'm down to do it. I think these days I'm just going to like see what people are wanting uh, besides besides what, uh, you know, what, what kind of videos I want to make. Um, I am still currently testing digital well-being to see if it affects my 3A. I did a quick video yesterday, a little rant also, um, 
And I can tell you guys, I'm not experiencing any issues. I have digital well-being on right now, and my and my 3A is not slowing down at all whatsoever. And when I turn it off, I still get the same behavioral patterns. So um, not entirely sure what's happening with uh, other folks with the Pixel 3A and if their their stuff is like messing up or whatever um, with digital well-being. I don't know. I can't really say. My standby time is is actually pretty good. Like I said, like the the, the 670 is more capable. It sips on battery life, so I don't have any issues at all with the 670, um, and and how it you know does power management or anything like that. Um, it, it it's doing fine. As a matter of fact, when I do like the when I do the full Pixel 3a review, like you'll get like everything that I've had with this phone. Vegas got snow this year. Crazy. I would I want to go back to Vegas. The Vegas was nice. My son was actually there um in the beginning of like in his travels when he came from texas to come here to stay with me for the summer so um but he was like there for a couple of hours he didn't get to stay like you know a day or anything like that to really experience a lot of vegas but he had a bit of fun there are you stuck to 50 50 yet have you ever been able to get, at least get up on the on the ledge? Yeah. So can you do like a like a 50-50 stall? Or like if you go at it, you ollie, and instead of doing like a 180, do a 90 degree turn and land both your trucks on the curb so you get a feel of what it's like. And then just ollie back off of it. Okay, when this car leaves, try. That's my son. <laughs> so it's like ride towards it, right? Like you know how you would do like a front side 180. Mm -hmm. Instead of doing it a complete eight, well, instead of doing the complete 180, you're gonna do like a 90 degree turn. So you're basically you're doing like a half turn. But what you're trying to do is you're riding towards it, and you're gonna try and ollie up and get both your trucks to stall out on the edge of the curb and then ollie off. So it kind of gets you familiar with doing 50 50s. So you know what it feels like to be up on the curb, so you know what to expect. Then once you get like, you know, a little bit better and better at that, then you can kind of come in at an angle with speed and then actually try and bust out a 50-50. Just give it a try. So you want me to all way onto the ledge? Yeah. Well guys, can kind of give them an idea. So instead of coming at an angle with the board where you would try to do the 50-50. What you're trying to do is get familiar with your board getting on it. So if you come this way and you ollie, 90 degree turn, uh, stall out, I and then it. ollie off. Yeah. I'm kind of showing him I can't. <laughs> I don't have those skills anymore. Yeah, keep trying. Yeah, by the end of the summer, he wants to be able to land a kickflip, like, not just one time, but be able to land it, like, naturally. And then um, he wants to be able to do at least a few grinds, like a 50-50, 5-0, and maybe, like, a nose slide and a board slide. So I'm trying to help him get with that. But so far, he's, he's, he's pretty good. Like, it's, like, cool to see, like, you know, your legacy live on because, you know, from, from my adolescent years, I was a skater. I skated a lot. And so it just kind of brings back memories. How to import your contacts from Yahoo to Google. You should be able to download your, your Yahoo contacts like in a V card and then import them. But if it says it's playing games that you... Well, I mean, yeah, that is a form of battery test, Ben but that's also um, a form of like processing power, right? Because if you have a processor that is good at power management that can handle gaming and sip the battery versus, you know, a chip that is full, like full on with, uh, with power itself as in, as in um, the processing power to process the game itself and not really also focused on, um, on the uh, power management, then you're gonna get different results. Yes, yes, Magical Mermaid, I've seen Mid 90s. I actually did a review of what I thought of the movie on the channel. Um, if you want to check it out, mid 90s to me, I mean, like, yeah, like it focused on skaters, you know. But to me, it was a very nostalgic movie because all the crap they did in that movie was like 
the shit me and my friends used to do, you know? Like that that kid Ruben talking to you know, trying to pump himself up to the new kid Stevie who was like starting to hang out with the little group. You know, because he was a low man on the totem pole, but now that there was a new kid getting involved, he wanted to make himself be like the shit. So he was talking all this mad noise, like, like he gets women, you know, he smokes cigarettes, he's cool and all this and that. And I'm like, golly, you know, that seeing that kind of like been like, yeah, you know, I sounded that stupid at that age because I, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I probably did some shit like that when I was his age. So I'm like, oh, OK, that's how stupid I look. <laughs> Yo, Paul Tech, what's up, man? Hey, great video, dude, on the J3 Orbit, man. I'm glad to see you back, dude. It always feels so lonely when you're gone, bro. <laughs> so, hopefully we don't have to wait another three months for another video. Even if you were just to, like, come on there and just just talk to us about life or whatever, man, dude. I'd, I'd be down to watch. I'm down to watch anybody's videos. Everyone, everyone that's a YouTuber that, you know, that's, like pretty cool with me and everything like that like I show I show mad support I watch your videos I drop a like you know if I have something worth saying I will drop a comment but if, even if I don't drop a comment on your guys's videos just know that I've watched it and I've dropped a like I thumbs up it you know but yeah uh, mid 90s uh, dope video dope movie uh, really good like they didn't bullshit too much about the about the 90s actually yeah the ghetto bird is out. Yo, check it out. Yeah, Paul, if you can snag yourself a Pixel 3a, I would love to know your thoughts on it, like for you to use it. I mean, a lot of people have mixed feelings, mixed emotions about it, so I was curious. If you grab it, that, that'd be pretty dope. I think they have like some sort of, um, some sort of deal to get like a hundred and... I think it's to get it 150 off or get it for 150 on the Google store. Yeah. Ghetto birds out and like it's beaming. It's like this is how weird, weird my city is, right? So all right, like my apartment complex seems pretty decent, right? You know, nicely well well built out, um, gated community, and then right across that way is the project. And obviously some shit happened because the ghetto birds out. You're buying a, a ZF a ZF6? Play a video game and watch an HD video at the same time on my phone. Yeah. And that and um But yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Do we get a do we get like a little clue, Paul, as to what phone you're gonna be unboxing? Or are you just gonna leave us in like the suspense? We got a little suspense, like a little clue. <laughs> Definitely leave me in suspense. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, they are looking for somebody. It's off that way. So it's like weird, a live stream with the ghetto bird out. So I've been watching when you go for it, it almost looks like when you pop into it, it looks like you're trying to do like, like, a, like a backside crooks. So, don't forget that. Why do they shine the light in here? The ghetto bird sounds like a lawnmower. <laughs> Pixel 3A like transforms ghetto bird sound into lawnmower. Yeah, they shine the light right on us. What the fuck? Um, if I tell you guys to go inside, then make it in the house. I guarantee you, if, there, if, if anyone's hiding, it's in the bushes over there at the corner of the complex. Yeah, they just shined their lights on us here just a second ago, so I don't know.
Yeah, so Paul, tell us what you've been up to, man. Like, you've been kind of like MIA on YouTube, but I see you on Twitter, though. He's coming back. It's not a new device, but I've been wanting to get it for a while, though. We'll try to make a video detailed and informative and a little different from other unboxing videos. Oh, okay, cool. CoolPad Legacy is a good, nice, and beautiful phone. I just got my CoolPad Legacy on Wednesday. That's dope. That's cool. I haven't, I haven't really looked into to the cool pad legacy. I don't know. I've kind of like gone away from from chasing down phones to unbox. Hey, TJ, what's up, man? What's going on? You're just in time because the ghetto bird's been circling my area. It sounds like a lawnmower. Eventually, Paul, you should do a live stream and just... Whoa, what the hell was that? What was that? Hmm. This is my first time using a CoolPad phone. I'll definitely check out your review and your thoughts on it. Definitely. It's got me a little interested. I've seen people talking about it on Twitter. How to check it out? That's, that's dope. That's cool. Yeah. I don't think I've ever used a CoolPad device. If y'all use a cool pad device before, like just tell me like what to expect. I don't know. You got your weed playlist public. <laughs> it's one of those things, right? Hey, have you guys checked out um, Altertech video? His collaboration with um, with C Butler, that shit was pretty cool. Mill Hustles, what's up, man? What's going on? Oh, when Mill Hustles comes in, the Ghetto Bird leaves. I got a ZT Avid Four as a food stamp phone. Nice little burner phone to keep on the side. <laughs> breaker, break, breaker one, breaker two. People on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that ghetto bird left already, so I don't know. I don't know what's up. Maybe they got the persons that they're looking for. You know, Saturday. Oh, crazy shit always happens on the weekends. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen uh, Rishi's video with, uh, with C. Butler, definitely check it out. They actually did two videos. Um, that watch. That watch I'm, like, definitely interested in now. Um, the one that... Uh, I see Butler had. Then Robocop jumps out. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, Oscar. I appreciate you jumping in on the live stream, hanging out with us. So that's cool, man. Yeah, the human DJ you watch that. Twenty bucks? Was that like a promotional sale, or is that the actual price of the device? Because the stuff that he was showing was like it was kind of crazy, like the battery life it has. I mean, yeah, I really don't care if it's like. Like like a rounded um, like a rounded body with a with a square display inside, so there's like not maximizing the whole thing. Yeah, sale price. You can find it for thirty now. I mean that's not bad still for a smartwatch. Thirty bucks. And does fitness tracking and all that kind of stuff. Oh look at this. Who wants to get paid a hundred? <laughs> Well, kids out here be leaving their junk around. Kids. Yeah, that watch is actually pretty good. But it was cool too. You know, you guys, you guys were like pretty collaborative. That's like, that's like the thing that I like to see is when is when people go out their way and collaborate and like help each other build. You know. Um, I think like at one point there was like there was like some drama and shit like that on YouTube and it just kind of like made me feel like I didn't want to be around for a while. You know, I don't like when people have fallouts and beefs and shit like that. Like everyone's working towards the same goal and 
you know, we may have different objectives for ourselves personally, but at the end of the day, we're, we're trying to inform people about, you know, devices and stuff like that. Um, at the end of the day, I just want people to get along. So I guess that's why I kind of like, you know, kind of like held back for a while. But yeah, everyone seems to be doing good now. Cool pad, the new ZTE. Okay. As I said, I've never used a cool pad device, so I don't know if I decide to pick one up. But I don't know, like, the thing is, like, you know, I switched from Boost Mobile to Google Fi, and I noticed that, like, yeah, I did drop a lot of viewership from doing that. Um, and that's just because I'm trying to weather the storm, you know what I mean? Besides the fact that, you know, Boost Mobile was also doing some stupid shit, you know, and it's like, don't get me wrong, when I, when I contacted Boost Mobile, I never, th I never throw weight, okay? I never throw any weight around. So I don't go to them and be like, ah, yeah, I used to work for Sprint Retention, so I know you guys' system, I know what you guys are doing. Like, I would never do that. You know, to me, that's just, that's just annoying when, like, people do that, when they, you know, like, when you go into, like, a coffee shop and then a person used to be a barista and was like, oh, yeah, I know how to do this and do that and do that, you know, it just makes, makes the employee feel inferior, you know? I don't like doing that to people. You know, I can care less if, if, I, if I know the business, if I know their policies. I'm not going to throw my weight around unless they want to start bullshitting me and they piss me off. And then I will let them know what their policy is and how I know that's their policy. Burner phone for sure. 2 gig. Uh, to what, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of, of internal storage, 5 inch screen. Yeah, yeah. No, nothing wrong with having a side burner phone, you know what I mean? Um, like, I have Google Fi. I have three phones technically these three phones only one of them has the phone line connected to it the other two i have a data only sim from google fi which allows them to utilize the t-mobile the t tongue-tied t-mobile network only and that's how i carry three phones around i am mostly today no one really calls me on my phone no one really gives me a phone call and says hey how's it going um everyone messages on, on some form of messenger chat whatever so data is like in anything the most important part now so i have three devices that i use i use my nexus 5x and I, right now i have one of the other sim cards in the moto g7 but it's usually a switch because i usually switch between the moto g7 and the pixel one i like the pixel one even though Ooh, you all right Yeah, my son just ate it right now. That like, yeah, he could take a slam for sure. So I don't have to worry too much about him. But yeah, my my apologies to everybody if like you know I haven't been posting videos religiously if I haven't been doing live streams religiously. Um, I'll try to. I go faster. You're catching your back. Your back truck is getting locked up on that. You might want to go faster so you can at least clear it. Here, I'll share with you guys. Well, almost. Yeah. He's only been skating for I think like a couple of months. But his progression is getting better and better. There you go. Yeah. His progression is getting better. I wanted to take him to the skate park today, but I wasn't really doing so good. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I actually went, I went hiking up on South Mountain today. And I did the stupidest thing ever, right? You know, for a guy who prides himself on being a nerd and a geek, you think that I would have thought about this before I went up there. But I went with no water. <laughs> I went up there with no water. I went to the to the last trail up on top of the mountain and walked the, the trail out. And I wanted to take some photos. I actually took some photos with both the Pixel 3 and the 3A. So I'm putting that video together. I should probably have that out Monday. Um, but yeah stupid thing for me to do because like today was pretty warm and what was messed up was that um a medevac copter went up there because i guess like a hiker was dehydrated and passed out so they had to like get him to the hospital so they 
when those medevac helicopters went up there, got them, and then brought them down to the hospital, I'm thinking to myself, oh yeah, that person didn't bring water. And here I am like a stupid idiot without water myself. Like, I don't know. Such is life. So how many of y'all are actually excited for the LG Stylo 5? I'm going to throw that question out there. Or is anyone interested or has, has everyone kind of moved on from the Stylo series? Kids talk about Taco Bell. I don't know, are comments coming through? Oh my gosh, comments were coming through and it wasn't even showing me. Phone calls are a loss of heart. I call people all the time. True. Uh, Yo Nexus 5X camera versus the Pixel 3a cameras. Hey, good idea. I will. Uh, one advantage of the G7 is the SD card slot over 10 gigabytes of my apps are on it. Yeah, it does have um, adaptable storage. Let's see, check out the movie Lord of Dogtown. I've seen it. I've seen the the documentary story of you know Stacy Peralta and and all them Dogtown boys. I currently have 128 gig SD card and 64 on my phone. What are the specs? Can't tell you. I just know that people have been like talking about it on Twitter. I haven't really been looking into the LG Stylo. Like, I don't know. I guess my, my, my channel's gone to shit because I don't focus too much like on phones anymore. Like getting phones and unboxing them and reviewing them. You know, I just talk like tech news to those people who are interested in that. And that's pretty much it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to that. I mean, if I get a phone that I am gonna personally be using all the time, and then you guys will get an unboxing. But if I'm not interested in getting a phone, there won't be any phones for a while. Although, I'm like, <laughs> unless subscriber count dropped, I haven't checked, but you know, like I was saying earlier in the stream, that I'm surprised I'm inching away to 10,000, it's kind of crazy. So thank you to all of you for the views, likes, and everything else, you know? Like, uh, everyone has their different things and, and why they're here on YouTube. And maybe mine is not the most ideal that I just, you know, come on here so I can talk about tech and people will actually listen. Because, I mean, if you live in a house with, with a bunch of family members and none of them are into tech like you are, it gets kind of hard when you want to talk about something exciting, but like no one wants to actually listen or like they sit there in silence like they're listening but really they've tuned you out because they don't understand anything you're talking about so it kind of sucks for me so youtube has always been my platform to be able to do this and then i started a podcast show so i can quickly get information out on anchor which shares to apple podcast breaker pocket cast google podcast spotify um it shares to a lot of different um a lot of different publications so yeah SD cards will be obsolete soon as far as phones go. It looks that way. Found a trailer by searching for a Project Fi. Cool. That's cool. Well, you know, I appreciate you also, you know, coming in and watching the live stream too. Agree, 5G will make cloud interesting again. Yeah, you know, people are going back and forth about its health issues though. The mobile phones in general of mobile phones are getting repetitive. Yeah, because there's not, there's not a lot it's not a lot of new innovation. I mean, right now, the main goal with, with all kinds of um, manufacturers and shit like that is trying to get a phone that is all screen and nothing else on it. What's up, man? Follow him on Instagram, by the way. <gasps> um, yeah, all screen displays. That seems to be what, what the whole innovation part is now of mobile tech is how much screen can we get? Where can we hide this freaking camera? You know, and... and that's not very innovative. I mean, like right now, okay, so we had the notch, right? We had the notch that every OEM followed after the iPhone 10 came out with the notch, right? Then Samsung's like, okay, well, we're gonna punch a hole in the screen and put a camera there. So now they're doing that, which seems like the Pixel 4 is gonna follow that. And then now with the OnePlus, the OnePlus 7 Pro and the Asus Zenfone 6, now we're doing motorized cameras, which to me, motorized cameras is a big no-no. I don't care how good they are, big no-no. Big no-no because that's that's even more parts that you're gonna have to fix if it fails or if you drop it and it breaks the motor. I mean, shout out to OnePlus for for being innovative. I will give them that credit, right? But a motorized don't fall. A motorized um, selfie cam that's like a big no-no in my book. 
There's spaghetti for dinner. That's what we're having tonight. And you missed it, the ghetto bird was out here. Oh no, man. Are they here or somewhere around here? No, they're looking for some weird guy on Instagram who was taking photos of models. Oh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no. wasn't me. <laughs> no, I don't know who they were looking for. Oh. It's 2019, protection plans should be mandatory. Yeah, that should come with, you know, that's an interesting point. Um, that's an interesting point, man. So yeah, if if we're having all these phones with, with all these mechanical parts and they're costing over a thousand dollars, then why, first of all, why isn't insurance like within a postpaid plan, you know? I know, I worked for Asurion, I, I know all their bullshit, okay? Um, and I never signed an NDA, so I'll say this. The phones they send are refurbished, even if they say it's not. Even when you talk to an Asurion rep and they're like, no, this is a brand new iPhone XR. They just came out, so we sent you a brand new replacement. Like, no, no, no. The the phones that, that come out that have, like, issues, they fix them, they refurbish them, they give them out, right? Um, but, yeah, you know, with, with phones being, like, over $1,000, it should be mandatory that they have insurance. I mean, how many times have I told people in the past who buy like a, a outlandish phone and they're like, nah, um, insurance is a ripoff. I don't want it. I'm not paying $10 a month or $13 a month for insurance. It's a ripoff. And a week later, they bust their freaking phone and then they're like arguing with, rep with reps like, I need it replaced now. I need a phone now. You're not doing it to help me out. Well, fool, you should have got insurance. Even if it gave you a refurbished phone, that's better than having nothing or to pay full price for a phone. Especially if the phone costs like a thousand dollars, and then you still have a lease for that phone, you're still gonna have to be paying on it whether it works or not, because you didn't buy it outright. Now, I don't know. You make a very valid point, Mill. You make a very valid point. Rather have a notch? Yeah. See, I mean, to each his own, right? Me, I don't know. I like my phones to just be different. I, I really don't care if a phone has bezels on the top and bottom. I mean, the Pixel 3a has bezels and it doesn't kill me and it makes gaming much easier for me because I have a place to rest my thumb. I won't sell one without that, without the plan. Yeah, that's good. Get a YouTube cake. Your kids would love it. That's not a bad idea. Maybe I'll have them make, because like my, my young, well, not my youngest daughter, but uh, my oldest daughter, she likes to bake. So maybe I can like give her a picture of the YouTube play button and then let her go nuts with the cake mix and make the cake. I think... If she continues on this path, I think she's going to open her own bakery. Yeah, I agree. Phones are plateauing. What else can you do besides just improving the internals? Yeah, exactly. We're, we're not breaking any boundaries. And then, yes, I give Samsung credit. You know, they, they tried with the foldable phone, the foldable Galaxy. But it doesn't look like that. that is, you know, is going to be something that they're going to accomplish. As a matter of fact, I've seen several videos where they talked about they canceled it. They just canceled its release. Like... They, they first said that they were going to um, figure out the issues that was going on with it and that they will have it for a June release. And then people were saying that Samsung gave up and they're canceling it. They're not putting out the Galaxy Fold. So that means every reviewer that got a Galaxy Fold that didn't have to give it back, you pretty much have like a legacy and rare phone. I hate the fact that companies are focusing on internals and skimping the camera. Yeah, I think that's kind of the other reason that I, that I do give the Pixel 3a some props here is because the Pixel 3 is known for its cameras, right? Obviously, it's in the name Pixel. So, Pixel 3, known for cameras, and they kept the same camera sensor with downgrading a lot of the other stuff like wireless charging and things like that, where you can still get a cheaper Pixel without sacrificing the cameras. The cannabis industry comes up with innovative camera on technology more than mobile phones. <laughs> really, TJ? Flagship phones should also come with the case in the box for the high price things. Oh yeah, great point. Paul, you are the genius, man. That is, like Motorola's, some of them came with cases. I believe my, my uh, Moto G6 Play came with the case, but you know, yeah, they should, right? Like either come with a, with a decent price case or like partner up with these other case companies and give you like a coupon, like for buying, you know, the, the, the Pixel 3a you can get a case from said company 20% off, you know? Do I still vape? Yeah, I still vape. Actually, um, two months ago, I bought a new mod. I like this mod. So it's the Captain um, the Captain 270. 
by um, iJoy. It does pretty good. And then the juice I'm vaping on is OG Steve, which is like a blueberry kiwi custard. So it's pretty good. You're eating outside? Are they still having a party at the pool? I don't know. I didn't hear nobody. No, everyone left. Oh. They had a party? Yeah, they had how many pizzas that guy was carrying? Mm. Yeah, they had they had like a like a stack of pizzas that was going to the pool. But yeah, um, to, uh, we're, we're we're at a flatline point when it comes to flagship phones or just even smartphones in general. Like I don't see anything innovative. And then, did you guys see what what, what um, Lenovo did that was kind of messed up? So a concept creator created a video concept of the the new Moto Razor and what it would look like by readopting the old Razer flip phone with the foldable screen and stuff like that. Rather than Lenovo making their own video, they took this guy's video without giving him the credit for making that, that concept video. And then they posted it and was like, wow. You know, nowadays if you're a concept maker, cause I noticed there's like a popularity gain on Instagram where people will make concept smartphones. Like I've seen concept phones from Simple Alpaca, I think Simple Alpaca or something like that. He made a concept phone to like the iPhone SE2. And like a lot of people were loving the way he designed it and how it would look. So I mean, you have people that just are showing what what they're what they envision in their mind of particular phones and that are not real and are bringing it to a kind of sort of a real state, which is cool. I mean, obviously, big companies are seeing this because Lenovo just stole that guy's video and used it <laughs> like it was theirs. Didn't didn't give him you know any credit for making it or whatever. So yeah, <laughs> they got called out and yeah, flame on. A lot of people in the tech community are after him for it. And it's kind of sad. Now, tonight's not too bad though. You look so worn out. Oh yeah. I'm worn out because I did something stupid today. I went hiking without water. So how'd that happen? I just, just, you just actually went hiking? Yeah, because we didn't go to the gym. So we went to South Mountain. And like, when you go up South Mountain, instead of turning left towards Dobbins Point, and instead of turning right towards the TV towers, we just yeah, took the road yeah. all the way to the end, and then we walked the trail all the way out. Okay. No one's getting sued. That is making the money I get. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they are getting sued. I would. I mean, if, if, if I put a lot of time and dedication to something, whether it's real or not, and it's a concept, the fact that somebody, that a company like that took it without asking my permission and without giving me credit, that's kind of messed up. Am I using Fi on this stream? Um, yeah. It is my Google Fi phone. Then it's on the network. Yeah, so I think at some point I'm going to try to get the Pixel 1 repaired because it does have the mic issue where um, the soldering on the microphone is all messed up. So having having that re-soldered should fix it. I called them, um, you break, I fix it. And man, they were crazy because when I told them what was going on, they were like, oh yeah, you got to replace the motherboard. For a 128 gig motherboard was like freaking $400. And then for the smaller one, the one with the smaller storage capacity was like 340. I was like, you're out your mind. This is a Pixel 1 that you can buy for like 100 bucks and offer up. I'm not gonna pay you four times the amount of what it's valued now just to replace the motherboard, like no. But then Google um, is settling a class action lawsuit here. So those people that actually did get affected with the Pixel 1's microphone issue, you could, uh, I think, like just for having a Pixel 1, you can get like 50 bucks, like they'll send you 50 bucks. But if you have one that's like with the microphone issue, then um, I think the payout's like 500. So I don't know where this where this class action lawsuit's going with them, but you know, I would say this, you know, Google can make it right. Like I get it, you know, people call me a Google fanboy. I call myself a Google enthusiast because when they fuck up, I'm, I'm not gonna make excuses for them. But instead of it coming to a class action lawsuit, they should have just, I mean, they, they use you break, I fix 
that company to service their Pixel 1. So why not just have anyone that has a Pixel 1 come in for a one-time free, you know, free repair and either replace the motherboard if it needs to be, which I doubt it, it does not need to be, but to um, refix and resolder the microphone on the Pixel 1 and just cover the bill then they wouldn't have to be sued. They wouldn't have to go through all this crap of a payout and shit like that. Like, I mean, that's just, that's just me. That's just what I think. But, um, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and jam out for the rest of the evening. I appreciate you guys dropping in and hanging out with me. And this was pretty fun. Um, and I'm sorry I don't do these very often. Um, you know, if, if someone wants me to, just tweet me on Twitter and just tell me to get off my ass and live stream on the weekend and I'll do it. You know? Um, I have ADHD, so I get sidetracked very easily. But um, yeah, everyone that came in here, Paul, Mill Hustles, uh, Magical Mermaid, Tech for Your Needs, TJ. Yeah, I'm shouting you all out right now. Um, ben Sun. Let's see, who else was in here? I think it was, um, I Need Your Help, Frank. That's a that's an interesting username. Um, yeah, Tech Twan B. Alter Tech, all you guys, for just coming in here and hanging out with me on this live stream. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the, the, the thumbs ups. Um, yeah, I'll have that the camera comparison videos coming up this week. Also, if you guys want a full Moto G7 review, I'll get on the works on that, bring you guys that content. Um, as far as like any possible new devices, it's pretty much on a halt right now. I've gotten what I want for now, and that may change in October. But thanks for rocking me. And as always, good night, everybody. Aloha. <laughs>